Is your Windows 11 PC running slow, lagging, or just not performing the way it should? What if I told you there's a free tool that can instantly boost your system speed and efficiency with just a few clicks? Today, I'm going to show you the only optimization tool you will ever need for Windows 11. And the best part, it's completely free. But real quick, if speeding up your PC sounds good to you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more no-nonsense Windows tips just like this. Now, let's get right into it. It, here's how to set it up and start optimizing. You will go to this link, which I will also put in the video description down below. It's on GitHub where I actually found this tool. And you can see here that you can pretty much also install it on Windows 10. So it's not only supported on Windows 11, but yes, you can also install it on Windows 10. Now down below, you can pretty much see all of the features. So selective app removal, system optimizations, privacy enhancements. It has modern design and also cross compatible with Windows 10 and as I mentioned Windows 11 as well. The installation it's actually quite straightforward. Now here on top you will find this releases page on the right. Click on it and then you will navigate here down below where you will find this file right tunex setup.exe. You will click on this and you should get this installer and then you can just click on it to install this application. Here you will get a message Windows protected your PC. Click on more info and click on run anyway. Then you want to click here yes for the admin prompt. And now you will get pretty much into the installer. Make sure that you put here in the check mark to I agree and then click on next. And now you can just click on install and wait for a few seconds. After that, you should get the message installation succeeded. And now here inside the start menu, you will find this shortcut, right tunex, click on it. By the way, guys, if you are interested in a new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which will take your desktop experience to a whole new level. And I will leave a link for it in the video description down below. Now, once you have right tunex open, you will get this message restore point and it's highly recommended that you actually create one before using this program. Make sure that you create one before using any feature here inside Right Tunex. On the first page of Right Tunex, you guys will see here performance and how many of the resources your computer is actually using at the moment. So for example, my in my case, CPU usage is 13%, RAM usage is 50%. Too. However, if you guys use this right Tunex program, you guys will be able to optimize it, deploy it, change a few privacy settings as well, which I will guide you right now through the settings. So here, click on optimize and on the first page here, you will see here a ton of the toggles to turn on. For example, the first one is disable menu show delay. And if I click here on enable, this will improve the responsiveness of your Windows 11. And here you can also disable background apps, which I highly recommend. Make sure that you turn them off by toggling this option as well. And you guys can also here disable the crash dump. So for example, if the application crashes, it will create a crash dump, which will then take some of the storage of your system. So I highly recommend that you turn this feature on as well. And then here down below, you also have other settings like disable remote registry, hide file extensions and hidden files. And down below, we also have some of the advanced system optimizations. You guys can enable enhanced GPU and priority settings. So if you have a graphics card, this will boost your graphics card performance. As you can see, optimizes GPU configurations and process priorities to boost performance ensuring better graphic rendering and smoother operation. So I highly recommend that you, you turn this option on and you guys can also enable here, adjust low latency GPU settings. So it will minimize here the latency for your GPU. And then if you are gaming a lot here, you also have enable gaming mode, which you can also enable. Down below here, you have a lot more options to play with. For example, optimize foreground app performance. You guys can also enable this here. Now, down below, you will find other settings. I highly recommend that you disable Cortana, disable store updates, and also disable automatic updates on your Windows. And then you can also disable smart screen. Then for the repair, you guys will find some of the repair options, which you can pretty much also find in the command line. For example, DSIM, SFC, check disk. And then you guys will also get the reports of your battery health, memory diagnostic, disk optimizations, and stuff like that. Then on the next step is the bloater. So pretty much you guys can remove any application 
information you want from your system using this program. So right Unix. So for example, here it found the Microsoft OneDrive for as a bloat. And here you can just click on uninstall selected apps, click on continue and wait for a few seconds until it finishes the bloating your system. Now, not only this, but you guys can also here clear system temporary files. So you guys can click on this one as well and wait for a few seconds. And this will also delete temporary files off of your windows. The next step is privacy. So pretty much I highly recommend that you turn every single option on. So disable advertising ID, then disable Bluetooth advertising as well. Disable news and interest, disable sport spotlight features, disable tailored experiences, disable cloud optimized content, as well as disable feedback notifications. I highly recommend that you turn this on because this will not only enhance your privacy, but will highlight the ads from your Windows 11 computer. Then down below, you also have telemetry settings. So pretty much turns off telemetry services to prevent the collection and transmission of usage data by the operating system. So I also highly recommend that you turn this every single option here to on so that it will disable telemetry and for example, disable diagnostic toast. Then here down below, you have disable automatic restart sign on, disable handwriting data sharing. For example, you can also turn this on here and then you can also disable safe search mode. You can disable this. And now down below, you have a few more options to disable like disable message sync, disable settings sync, disable voice activation. So if you pretty much don't use any of these services, I highly recommend that you just toggle them on right here. Now the next option are features. Pretty much here you can disable the transparency of Windows for example and then you can also enable here Windows dark mode and uh, disable search as well. If you don't use search on your Windows you can just toggle this option on it and it will disable search from your Windows. Now overall I think that this is a really good program for optimizing Windows 10 as well as Windows 11 because you can see here that under the features you can also find Windows exclusive features like the enabled and task. So this will enable this option right here where you will right click on the app inside taskbar and here you will find this end task option. Then you can also disable snap assist, disable widgets. So widgets here on the left bottom corner. And uh, yeah, then you can also disable copilot AI, disable windows recall even, and also disable edge discover bar. So pretty much you can pretty much disable a lot of the settings here under the Windows 11 exclusive options. Then you have here networking settings like you can put in your own DNS. And then you have also the security. So if everything is under control by your Windows Defender or antivirus you're actually using. In my case, you can see here that everything is enabled and everything is fine. And then here down below, we have device options like the drivers. You can pretty much extract your drivers to an external folder for easy backup. I highly recommend using right Tunex for your Windows 10 and Windows 11 optimization. And I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. So please let me know what do you actually think about this optimizer. With that said, make sure that you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel as well, and I will see you all around in the next video.